Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Sailor at Plans. I'm Jessica, thank you for joining me here today. And today I have an exciting video, so if that interests you, keep watching. Alrighty you guys, it is that time of year. We're talking planners for the next year. And if you're like me, you've been thinking about it for a little bit, but yeah, this is my preliminary planner lineup. So I thought I would go over it together on camera, my options and my process for why I'm potentially choosing a planner or just thinking it through. But I'm going to go ahead and get started on this video because we do have quite a bit to cover. So right off the bat, I'm immediately going to introduce to you my Erin Condren Life Planner in a 7x9 Vertical. This is a little thing that my friend made me, a little cover that she made me, that my bestie made, Christina. I always shout her out. You can go ahead and follow her on Instagram at ParadisePlans96, guys, and show her some love. Tell her I sent you. <laughs> um, so this right here, let me zoom in a little bit, is the planner for 2025. Now my Erin Condren, I use it for memory keeping and I love the paper in this planner so so very much for that because it's a very premium paper. I am a little bit of a paper snob and have been very reluctant to leave the Erin Condren even though the size is not the best size for me and my needs. I definitely prefer an 8 by 11 but they don't make them and I've been requesting them year after year and nothing. So uh, very upset about that, but I still continue to purchase. This is very chic, this cover. Very demure, very mindful. Very coquette. I should have gotten the chic coquette from Live Love Posh, but you know, maybe one day. And then this is the inside and it's again very neutral. This is a look at the monthly and then this is a look at the weekly. Again, same thing as this year. They have this little calendar up here, which I wish that didn't exist, and this little asterisk. And I also wish that the layout, the vertical layout, was very similar to uh, Happy Planner, where it's very simplistic. I don't like all these extra lines, but I have learned to kind of work around that, and it doesn't really bother me as much. So. It is what it is. I like that this paper is able to handle a lot. You know, I do use a lot of scrapbooking methods like scrapbook paper, tons of washi, tons of sticker and, you know, writing and stuff like that. So it does bulk up. And speaking of bulking up, I purchased an 18 month planner. So this is from July of 2024 of this year and it goes into December of next year of 2025. So the reason for that is because the coil is a lot bigger and again this planner does bulk up so I do need as much room as possible. So what I do is I uncoil this and I take out the July through December of this year because I don't need it. And I save those for maybe repurposing purposes. <laughs> so yeah, so this is a keeper. I'm not going to be flipping through any of these planners in this video. Otherwise, this video is going to be very, very long. I am going to be making a final 2025 planner lineup probably towards the end of November, uh, potentially beginning of December. This is just me talking through the planners and things and notebooks that I have that I am considering using for next year. So and I thought I would film this process online with you. So moving on, next let's talk about some reading journals, okay? I have quite a bit of options here. The first one we'll get through is Wrong Wrong. Uh, let me move this off to the side. I have been reading a lot more this year and it's not even like crazy amount of reading. I have never really read so much in my life, honestly. The most I probably read is about 35 books in one given year. I'm a very, very slow reader, you guys. But I want to prioritize reading again with traveling. It has kind of diminished, especially the last couple of years. I really have not been reading, but I want to prioritize reading again in my life. So I would like to have a reading journal. Now I could 
could not help myself and I did purchase this wrong wrong all booked up a book lovers journal earlier this year and I've not used it yet it is super gorgeous it has the light academia feel it is not yet on a matte uh, cover matte covers did come out for the dark academia um, set so but not for this one because this is an earlier release and so uh, I love the inside it's so so beautiful and I couldn't help myself and get it so it there's like a few tabs here so the first one here we have like a reading tracker and we have a little key here and we have reading challenges reading logs with the stars books to read list so a couple of those a book wish list finished books your favorites and favorite quotes favorite books and book review section and then at the very very back there is a dot grid now these dots are huge i don't think you could see this on camera i will try my best to show you but these dots are huge like the spacing is enormous you could do whatever you want with these if you want to add additional stats or just like journal or whatever you can use these additional pages in the back so she did give you that option and I love this spine it's so 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 pretty so if this interests you you guys you can go ahead and use my affiliate link or my code just 10 I'll have this in the description box down below so you can save 10% on your order if you wish she does currently have a Black Friday sale. I did make an announcement, and again, the affiliate link will be down below. I also have this Archer and Olive notebook that I bought literally four years ago, you guys. I've been so scared to use Archer and Olive notebooks, and we'll talk more about that in a little bit. But this one is so cute with like the little moon and the stars. And this is um this is not a dot grid actually. This is the only notebook that I have that isn't plain papered just white and I'm not sure exactly what I would use this for I thought maybe for reading journal but I don't want it to be like a super uh, time-consuming thing you know honestly I use Goodreads a lot to keep track of my books and rate my books and write reviews and stuff like that so this is something that I'm considering turning into a reading journal. I'm not entirely sure just yet. So what I did used to use in the past is a novel companion from Little Inklings Designs. She is based in Canada. These little notebooks are so amazing. She also comes out with like a proper uh, reading journal that is like weekly based and stuff like that that is also dated this is a newer one that I have unused I'll flip through that in a little bit but I use this in 2022 I'll just go ahead and flip through this we have goals important information your star rating system we have A to Z challenges genre reading challenges reading rainbow challenges and these change from year to year this is again I bought this in 2022 and was using it then so we have the on the cover reading challenge this changes and we have around the world reading challenge so read a book that's based in North America South America Antarctica Europe Russia Asia and the likes and then we have this really fun page here where you could color in this bookshelf with the books that you have read we have a reading checklist with star ratings here on the side and we have the Battle of the Books, a book series tracker, favorite quotes. Looks like I wrote some quotes from People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry when I had read that. We have movie trackers, TV trackers, which I want to so badly include in my Erin Condren planner. I really want to include some trackers, like fun trackers like this. I think it would be fun. I know that Yelly at Plan with Yelly, I believe is <laughs> her handle. Um, she has a really cool notebook where she uses like, a, I don't know, I think she uses like an Archer and Olive notebook. 
where she uses it to track her K-drama shows, and I thought that was so inspiring, so I think I might do even something like that, like a TV show tracker or something in here, just for fun, you know, something really low-key. Here we have a wish list and five-star ratings here. So I had dated this a little bit. I started using it, you know. Um, I love that there's a new releases here. I use these Peppy Penguins from Caitlin Plans. These are the books that I wanted to read, and then I checked them off if I had read them. And then here I show my bookish haul. I, sp I was spending quite a bit of money then before I was spending that money <laughs> on uh, planner stuff. So we have a reading wrap up here. And then we're going into February. I did Minnie Mouse themed here. I really love the new releases here because, you know, I kept an eye on the stuff that I was really interested in. But, um, you know, you got to also prioritize what's on your shelves, right? Here we have a Harry Potter theme and again, some more Caitlin Plan Little Otters. More Caitlin Plans. We have the Hummingbirds. And this was a printable that I found online for free. So, so pretty. I love this like safari theme. And then I just stopped using it in April. April's like the last, you know, I've kind of started falling off. But towards the back here, we have book reviews. And like a bunch of book reviews. And then just random, a little bit of pages of Doc Grid and then random note pages. So then we have... This one, it's the same exact thing, but again, uh, a different year. So probably, if I have to assume, this was either 2021 edition or 2023 edition. I'm not entirely sure. But it is the same kind of concept, except that the challenges changes from year to year. So, yeah, and it's undated, so you could use this whenever you want. So I like that this is undated and is low maintenance. So that's kind of what I am aiming for is low maintenance stuff. Um, Cause I am somebody here, hold on a second. I'll take these out of the way real quick. I am somebody that gets very overwhelmed. I already feel like the two and a half, three planners that I use this year is enough for me partly because my memory keeping planner the Erin Condren one takes so much of my time and I really really struggle to keep up with that one so I feel like it doesn't make sense to continue adding more planners to my lineup if I can barely handle three planners or two and a half planners as is but again if that is your thing if that really helps you car compartmentalize your life then you know more power to you but also there's no shame in having just one planner or three planners but let's keep moving here this is a planner that i think i'm going to be there we go we're focused that i think i'm going to continue using this is the only planner that i have in this layout and it it is the dashboard layout that i use for for um, social media planning i do kind of go in and out of social media planning so my socials being here on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, I do like that it's undated, so it's really no pressure for me to like use this on a weekly basis. I can use this as I see fit because some months or weeks are busier than others, right? I get really motivated and I post a bunch of videos and then there are months where I just do the bare minimum. Um, it, 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 is, it is what it is. But I would like to use this to kind of stay more consistent with my social media. And uh, yeah, this is already pre-decorated. This is Let's Plan with Sarah nice cream stickers paired with Happy Planner boxes. And I don't mind that I already pre-decorated some of these, um, you know, uh, spreads. But uh, yeah, this is how it looks like without it being decorated. So I might continue using this. In fact, I'm pretty sure I will be continuing to use this into the next year. So that's two planners for sure that I know that I'll be using and let's get into some of these notebooks okay so I have quite a few of Archer and Olive notebooks this is all b5 and then the last one down here is a letter size so ls and 
8 by 11. The notebook here for size comparison, this is the traditional A5 right here. So you can see it's significantly smaller and the LS is similar to the big size in Happy Planner. So um, these are the notebooks that I bought literally earlier this year. Anything that is nautical related has my heart. So this one was released during the summer. Yeah, this has a compass with anchors on it and lines here, super pretty. This is a kind of like pleather cover and it is a dot grid with like blue dots inside. I know it's kind of hard to tell. And it does have some gold foiling. Very, very beautiful. This one is from Leela Journals. And I love that it's just like a linen with like very chic and very coquette. Very demure <laughs> kind of notebook. So beautiful. I love that. And even has Leela Journals back here. I know it's hard to tell. But this is the inside. I like that it's not foiled, you know. It's really, really beautiful. Very dainty. And the dots are kind of like a burnt brown color like very like burnt orangey color very beautiful I don't know if I showed you the inside of this but it's gold with lines or as you guys would call it rope I guess it is rope if it's not being used um, so this one is a sailboat this is a like a linen kind of cover and this is the inside with stars and it also has blue dots so really really pretty and then lastly the LS this is a pleather kind of cover it feels very luxurious very premium feeling and this is the inside it has again blue dots and this is the cover part the back side of the cover so very very beautiful I'm not exactly sure exactly what I'll be using the notebooks for. I really struggle with using Archer and Olive notebooks. It's just very intimidating for me. I feel like it's going to be um, super time consuming and I'm here for, you know, like low maintenance like stuff because my memory keeping planner just is a lot for me. So I don't know if that means that I should just not be memory keeping the way that I have been because it really is a, a true struggle for me. And yeah, so I don't know. I was thinking about using these as like another form of memory keeping or like a daily journaling or journaling as I see fit, right? Like an undated kind of like journal, a wellness journal. Again, I didn't want to add a wellness journal just because like I, I don't, I don't know. I feel like that would be overwhelming for me. So I'm still kind of brainstorming and hopefully by the time the final 2025 planner lineup comes out, I will have made a decision on this. So um, stay tuned for that. So I'm going to move on now and show you the happy planner planners. These are my happy planner planners. So I use the happy planner um, that I currently have as a to-do list, I like to call it. I know it's not a very pretty name, um, but basically I just use it to kind of write the chores that I have. Sometimes my social media kind of bleeds into my uh, to-do list planner, so I'll write some social media stuff in there. But yeah, it's a very basic planner that helps me kind of like plan my day-to-day -day mundane life, right? So here I have this, all of these that I've bought like within last year or like two or three years ago even. So these are literally all of my planners that I own currently. So I would like to use at least one of them. I really love this planner. Um, it's the foresty one, like the safari one. I don't remember what it's called, but this is from 2023 to 2024. It is an 18 month planner. And I love the very colorful tabs. I'm a very colorful tabs type person. The dividers for me, you know, aren't really that big of a deal, but is a big, big plus if it has really cute dividers. And I think this one is really, really pretty. But what I do not like so much is that there's designs on this. We have like light pink here print and here as well. And um, you see what I mean? Like we have some print, so it's not the most neutral. So I am thinking about kind of 
Franken planning. That is a very common term here used in the Happy Planner community where I combine different um, planners and put them into one. So I'm thinking about using this planner, which is an undated vertical layout. I'm not really a big fan of this color, but I do love that it is super basic and undated. So we have lines here and again, absolutely nothing here. Super, super, super neutral. This is the kind of um, layout or like boxes I wish that Erin Condren did. You know what I mean? Without the extra lines. So that would be really, really perfect. Um, so I love this. This has some dot grids here and some lines. We have this week's lists here, but I'm not like the biggest fan of these dividers. Again, it's not a deal breaker, so that's why I bought it. And it was on sale when I bought it. So I'm thinking that I might use the guts from this and the dividers of this one. And maybe, I don't know what kind of cover to use yet. I mean, I like the inside of this because it's so like neutral and basic. It's just hearts, pink, black, and blue hearts with and yellow hearts. So this one is also a one I had bought on sale when I went to the States last year, I believe. Um, it is another 18 month planner and I got it from Hobby Lobby and I don't like the inside of this cover at all. I don't like that it's like dark because like when you go to take pictures, for example, and you have it in the planner, you, you'll have this kind of peeking out. So I prefer like a very neutral inside cover but it is very neutral inside so you just have like the basic dots inside and then a basic kind of layout inside and then this is a sneak peek of the um, dividers inside so again it's not like a deal breaker or whatever I think it's cute enough I, I love the color palette a lot not like a huge blooms girl but it's cute now this is the big one from Happy Planner. I bought this during the fall 2021 or 2022 release. And I thought I would use this in the event that I wouldn't have my Erin Condren planner, like wouldn't be able to purchase one and the likes. So I bought this, but I just really can't get over the Happy Planner paper. Like I just wish that it was like an Erin Condren type quality. I had really intended to use this as a memory keeping planner. So I'm not sure if I'll ever use this. Um, I think if I ever get sick and tired of Erin Condren not coming out with an eight by 11 or like a big size, I think I might be forced to like migrate into a big for memory keeping. It's just that I, I feel like, wow, I did decorate this. I feel like I just, I don't know. I, I just don't like the paper. I, I feel like it just can't withstand all of the things that I do to my Erin Condren for memory keeping, like the pictures and scrapbook paper and all of that. So I did use Caitlin Plan's holiday dogs here. I think they're so cute. I should use them again. They're so pretty. And then I use Caitlin Plan's polar bears. And then that's it. Like I was decorating it to kind of like see, get a feel for it. And I just couldn't, I just couldn't bring myself to use it, which is a shame because I did pay like full bucks for this one. Okay. So you guys, I hope I didn't like really confuse you or anything. This is more kind of like talking it out with you guys. I just, I thought I would like come on camera and show you my options and what I'm contemplating on using. Again, don't feel like you need to have like a huge planner stack. If you're okay with having the one planner, do you. If you're okay with having, you know, nine or 10, 12 different planners, again, that's, that's what works best for you. For me, I really think that having two or three planners is like the sweet spot for me. I, I, I really can't add so much without feeling overwhelmed or having it kind of like consume my life. I feel like it shouldn't be consuming your life. It should be helping you kind of stay focused and organized and all of that and so forth. So these are my planner stacks. Let's see if I could bring them in right there and this one and then my Erin Condren one. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up so that the algorithm also knows that you enjoyed it. Um, 
kind of helps push out my videos, I would so, so, so significantly appreciate that. If you want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. It is free for you and me. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for that 2025 planner lineup video. It is coming, you guys. And I hope to catch you all in the next one. Bon voyage.